ます。Hi, I'm Blake Peterson, and welcome to Side by Side from GameRevolution.com, where we'll be comparing game franchises, hardware, remakes, sequels, characters, and more. In this episode of Side by Side, we'll look at the early entries of the Metal Gear franchise, but most specifically, the game that sets the tone for the series in terms of gameplay and style: Metal Gear 2: Solid Snake for the MSX2 computer system. Now you can actually play Metal Gear 2: Solid Snake on console if you have the Legacy or HD collections, since the cell phone version was included with Metal Gear Solid 3: Subsistence, which is the version that's in those collections. While the original Metal Gear was an innovation in its stealth action gameplay and dynamic boss battles, it had a very thin story. Here's a recap. Previously on Metal Gear, Snake, big boss, Snake. I need you to go to outer heaven and destroy Metal Gear. Big boss, Snake. 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 I'm betraying you. Big boss, but why? Because I'm the leader of outer heaven and I have Metal Gear. Oh, I guess we'll fight then. The style of Metal Gear really comes from two. Where every villain has a backstory, every betrayal is ultimately redeemed, and also Snake finally gets to actually fight Metal Gear. The story is also surprisingly contemporary, with a scientist figuring out a way to synthesize oil, and getting abducted by the rogue nation Zanzibar Land, which is soon confirmed to be the rebirth of Metal Gear Stronghold: Outer Heaven. The long-term repercussions of the game's story are still being felt in the franchise today, with tropes like child soldiers, with gameplay innovations like the Soliton radar. Additionally, it included features like crouching, crawling. A number of gags continue from this game into later entries. Instead of getting the codec from the back of the box, it was on a page in the manual. This was a pretty solid method of preventing theft in the 1980s. But probably the game's greatest innovation is how it handled being spotted. In the original Metal Gear, all you had to do was leave the screen if you activated the alert phase in most circumstances. But Metal Gear 2: Solid Snake is the first game in the series with a countdown timer for alert, followed by a phase where the enemies are more cautious and change their patterns of movement to hunt for Snake. It also features regular use of traditional series features like air ducts. And other characters on the codec, including Master Miller as Snake's combat and survival specialist, and Colonel Campbell. If you play the cell phone version, the character portraits have all been updated. But if you see the original game, Colonel Campbell is loosely based on Colonel Troutman from Rambo, and Big Boss looks like a late '80s bearded Sean Connery. What's also striking is how similar some of the boss encounters are to later games in the series. Check out these comparisons. <laughs> With Kojima's departure from Konami, the Phantom Pain is likely to be the last game in the series with his particular stylistic approach, a legacy in style that can be traced all the way back to Metal Gear 2: Solid Snake. 